So what I will do is a guided meditation just to help you relax. And um, I'm going to, once I finish the guided meditation, um, just, you know, you just go where you need to go and whatever you come up with, make that all part of your meditation. Like my dog was barking earlier and I would tell the folks and my meditation that if you hear Charlie barking, make it part of your meditation. Know that that's exactly the way it's supposed to be and embrace it instead of trying to resist it and push it away. So um, there you have, and I'm, I'm ordained um, through Race of Healing. I think that happened in 2010 um, with Wanda and we had a pretty active and large Baltimore group. I'm in Baltimore um, and I've, I always enjoyed Wanda and I just love her wisdom. So, and I've attended a few classes in the past when she was here. So that, that's a little bit about me. I mean, I could go on, but I'm not. <laughs> so let's get started with um, the process tonight, the process of meditation. And when I do, I will stop my video. Of course, I'm not going to silence myself, but um, Donna said she would make sure she would um, silence those folks that come in. So I tell you, I'm honored to be here. I know already I love you all. So know that we are truly um, communicating on a platform of love. And now I will stop my video and ask you all to get very relaxed and still and, oh, just enjoy this gift you're giving yourself, which is the gift of silence and, and meditation. And know that as you do, you're inviting in spirit, even on a stronger, wavelength, a stronger vibration, because that is what we're focusing on. So begin to, if you're comfortable, close your eyes and just simply sit back in your chair on a sofa, wherever you are, and know that right where you are is exactly where you are meant to be. Know that you are safe and you are embraced by love pure, unconditional love. And as we begin to relax, let's start with the breath. And I'm going to ask you to do this independently and I'll explain what we do initially. And when you breathe in, know that you're breathing in this unconditional love and this compassion and kindness. And as you breathe out, you breathe out anything you do not need for this meditation session. And all of that is laced with unconditional love. So take your three breaths at your own pace. Breathing in, hold it for three counts. And then exhaling through your mouth. And as you do that with each breath, you begin to feel your body relax and your mind calming. Imagine this beautiful, white, warm blanket covering your mind, soothing. And now see this white ball of light, beautiful ball of light, about six inches above your head. And there's two words within this beautiful ball of light love and healing, love and healing. And as you observe that light above you, begin to feel its presence, begin to feel its healing power and see that ball of light begin to softly flow over your entire body soothing your mind, relaxing the muscles in your face, dropping your jaw. And as you do this process, just let go, just let go. 
and know that you are safe in the presence of love. And feel that light continuing to flow over your face, relaxing those muscles, down your neck, relaxing your neck and your throat, all of those muscles that work so hard for our expression. And feel that light flowing over your shoulders, going down your torso, warming and comforting anything that is in dis-ease, anything that is not in harmony within your physical body, know that this light of love and healing is healing all of your cells, your organs, the systems within your body. If there is an area of dis-ease, send it this love and light and then let it go, knowing that love is doing its job. And allow this light then to go down your arms, relaxing your arm muscles, upper and lower, and into your hands. As your hands are turned upward, receiving the energy from the universe, and knowing that as you receive, you also give and begin to feel the warmth pool in the palms of your hands. And just imagine that love and light flowing out of your fingers into the space, the physical space that you're in, knowing that as you do, that energy continues to flow through you over, around, and under you. And now feel that into the lower body, to your buttocks, into your thighs, relaxing all of those big muscles, knowing that they are receiving this light, love, and healing energy. And just allow that to flow into your knee joints, your ankles, your feet, all of the small bones and tendons in your feet, and out those pretty little toes that you have. And the same as we did with our fingers, see this energy flow from your toes surrounding you with love, light, and healing energy. And as we continue to feel this energy flow through us, it brings a calmness, a stableness, a loving light, into the present moment, knowing also that that loving light, that love from spirit is within you. We all possess that light within us. It is not outside of us. It's an inside, job. And as you sink even deeper into relaxation, check your body in any place that is tense. Just send your beautiful breath to that space, knowing that as you do, you are also healing. And now, you are ready for this journey, this journey of love, light, and healing. And I will let you fly. You are free. 
you are free to feel whatever you choose to feel. Choose love. And I'll come back and get you in a little bit. Enjoy your wonderful journey.
take these last few moments to connect with those on the other side. and your guides. Now gently bring your awareness to the physical space that you are in and slowly open your eyes. And if you're comfortable, unmute yourselves and I'd love to see your beautiful faces. And Cindy, I'd love to see you because it's been a while. <laughs> Hi, darling. How are you? Good. How are you? It's good to see you, honey. It really is. Okay. So Julie and Lucille, can you all unmute yourselves and love to see your face as well? There we go. Oh, Julie's inside now, that's good. <laughs> it's hard to meditate when you're walking. <laughs> and Lucille, honey, can you come back to us? Oops, maybe she's really out moves okay so what i like to do is just to have people share if you want to i always find it so interesting <laughs> to see what went on what journey you had and all like that so if you'd like to um just speak up and let me know what that experience was like for you okay um, I believe I was at your ordination. I was ordained the year before. Was it at Alice's house? With yes, yeah. Burn? Yeah, there were like three of you ordained. Mm -hmm. so first, I went to the beach, and I it was very peaceful, and I invited a couple of my friends to join me who are in spirit. Mm -hmm. And then I realized that a couple of those were at my ordination. Huh? So... I brought them along and I sort of relived your ordination. The, the speaker was a close friend of mine, Nancy. Okay, I, what, what, what is Nancy's last name? I don't... Oh, gosh. It's 12 years ago. <laughs> yeah. the, um, I, I, no, she was a good friend of mine. Oh. Nancy, well, she lived in Columbia, Maryland. Oh, okay. 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 She, she got us in touch with our inner child. Mm -hmm. and I remember Patrick sitting in one corner yeah and who was the, the I can't remember names but I remember his face the man who's part of the Baltimore group oh Larry Adams yeah <laughs> okay <laughs> and I remember the other ministers standing outside we walked in the door we went out into the garden and walked back in oh wow I remember Wanda so if somehow you can get me your email i do have i did take some pictures oh wonderful yeah okay. it's, it's i'll put it in chat it's real easy it's j hughes first initial last name at comcast.net well that's easy hold on a second yeah there you go <laughs> oh thank you barbara 
No, but I just thought that was a great way to connect. Mm -hmm. You know, we're all connected, but I guess seeing you again, it's probably been almost that long. I believe you were at a couple of Alice's Christmas parties, but I don't think we chatted. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I went to Alice's for Christmas. Okay. Is that, yeah, yeah. But yeah, well, thank you, honey, for remembering. That's wonderful. Gosh, all those experiences years ago. <laughs> well, we're all part of our experience and we shared that experience, so. Yeah, yeah, we did. Shared the space and the energy. So, yeah. Thank you. Hughes at Comcast.net. Yeah. All right. Next. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right. Anybody else want to share? Okay. Julie, you left us. Okay. Well, sorry. No, I'm, I'm just looking up uh, animal symbolism. Did did an animal come to you? Well, um, so uh, one, I just thought it was very, very beautiful. Um, oh. Very peaceful, very warm, very connected. I really love the energy of the ball from above and moving through you and the blockages. I thought it was a beautiful image. One that I actually haven't heard before. I've been really? to a lot of meditation, so. I loved it that you went from head to toe. So, but it was interesting when you're like, I'm going to let you fly. <laughs> I, um, I, I don't know. It was like a scene from Aladdin. And I generally <laughs> don't have anything. I saw actually a huge white egret and I was sitting on top of it and it was flying around. <laughs> I was looking up what an egret meant because it definitely felt like it was like holy and goodness. And like, I felt like I was Santa Claus doing nice things here and there, like flying around in the, you know, ozone. Yeah, so I was embarrassed, job. but that that's that's what came up. Like, I felt like, like in my body to kind of heal things and then in the world. So that was kind of, so I was looking up what an ego said, a huge uh, wingspan. Uh, so it talks about patience, patience, patience will be a reward. It's time to rely more on yourself than on others to provide what you need. Although it's useful to be aware of what you are feeling, it's better to rely on your intelligent and wit in the situation. So I really got to wow. Wow. look it up. So I think there's more. So, so, I mean, I think, I feel like you already know that you have that healing power within you. And, you know, we need to be reminded of that because our, our thinking and our minds get so out here at times that we, we honestly forget that all of that is within us because that's all in God's love. And that is what is expressing through us. So um, I like that image, Julie, I really do. Well, I didn't really come up with it. <laughs> <laughs> Guess my unconscious or God did. It also says go under the surface of your feelings and allow whatever emotions are there to flow through your through you easily and without inhibition. And there's more. But um I the thing I liked the most about it was it was so joyous and freeing. Oh, good. Like, I don't usually ride on, you know, magic carpets. So I <laughs> I love that image. It felt like Santa Claus in a way. So I like. <laughs> and you created that, you know, you co-created, but co-created, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you did. It was quite beautiful and quite fun. So I, huh? I, I needed that. So thank you. Good. You're welcome. Thank honey. you, baby. <laughs> okay, Cindy, are you okay, honey? Just not saying anything. I I wanted to invite you if you wanted to. Oh. Um, yeah, so I connected with divine healers and saints and some people to bring healing into our group and into the world for, uh, you know, today's a, a difficult time for many people with the Queen's burial. 
and with the I think the war still going on and the different political unrest here in the United States and things. So I I spent my time trying to bring in healing energy for just myself in general and for others. Good. And then um, when you when you asked us to connect to someone who's passed, um, Giovanni King. Oh, oh. That was nice. Yeah, that's good. And 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 you're good at at doing that, Cindy. You're good at connecting with energies on the other side. So it's a good thing. It's wonderful to see you, sweetie. I haven't seen you in so long. I know. Yeah, it's been quite a while. Yeah, it has. So, but the love is always there. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, I, I truly want to thank you all for joining tonight. <clears throat> I really enjoyed um, the meditation and the experience. And um, Donna said, I hope you can come back next year. And I said, okay, <laughs> I'd be happy to. I'd be very happy to. And I, and honestly, I have a, the first and third Wednesday, 6.30 to 7.30, I have a, a meditation group as well on Zoom. And um, if you want um, to join that, just um, put your name, send me an email with your name and, uh, you know, let me know that you'd like to be put on, on my meditation list. So... Um, Jane, I did include your email address in the chat. Okay, Donna. Thank you, honey. Thank uh -huh. you so much. So anybody else, anybody need to express anything else or do you have any ideas or that you'd like to express? I or just one question. You said your um, email is J Hughes. Is that H-S or e H-E-S? H-U-G-H-E-S. You can see it on the screen. Okay. Yeah, it's my first initial, uh, last full name at Comcast.net. I had forgotten the E. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. And it's Nancy Smeltzer. It came to me. Her name oh, is Nancy. Okay. I remember that name. Yeah, I remember that name. Yeah. Well, you know, let's let's hold let's hold folks that we know need our prayers and need our love and um, hold them within our thoughts and in our hearts and um, particularly yourselves, you know, just be kind to yourselves and, and know that you are God expressing. And, um, and when you know that uh, there's not much that can kind of penetrate that armor of love. So um, I love you all dearly. I know we've met before. <laughs> and um, we will see each other again. And if we ever see each other in person, let's do a hug, okay? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Jane. <laughs> all right. So Donna, um, are we done, honey? Is that it? Yes. Yes. If, if everyone okay. is finished. Um, they have nothing else to say, then we can end the meeting. Okay. All right. <laughs> Joining. All. Have a wonderful time. Whatever you do. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.